how are you all today? So we are just going to run through and do a quick what's in blue and what's in spike update. I like these a little more because you can see the progress of the spikes and then the blooms. So the first thing on the list is this beautiful Cyclopsis. And I brought this to my Orchid Society. And I actually helped judge, but when I had a plant, I always step back and let them, the other judges judge, and I have no part in it. Um, they actually didn't even know this was mine, and I ended up getting first place, and then best in show. So I was very happy. Uh, along with the People's Choice Award too, so I do love this plant so much. It always has such huge blooms, and um, it's very spectacular. I do love it a lot. If you don't have a Cycopsis, I recommend trying one. Uh, some people say they're hard to grow. I find it particularly easy. Uh, it's actually one of my more low maintenance plants than anything. I think sometimes when you t pay too much attention to orchids, it tends to hurt them because people always are like, well, maybe this needs some water or maybe this needs something. But um, most of the time, they're actually very easy to take care of, in my opinion. But there it is. And let's start with our update. Start down here with the Neophoenicias, and I do have one spike coming on this Neophoenicia right here, and this is just the regular standard Neophoenicia falcata. I haven't noticed any other spikes on the Neophoenicias besides that one. We do have several spikes and or sheaths um, on this. Brassavola nidosa. And if you can see, actually, right there is a spike, and there is a few more. There's a spike coming out of this one, too. So we'll, and this is Brassavola nidosa little stars. So we'll be able to see that bloom for the first time. I got it when it was a seedling, and um, it will be its first time bloom. Going over here, this, ins yeah, Encyclia, I think that's what it is, um, Encyclia skunkiera, I think I said it before, but um, it has a new bud coming on it. This thing is constantly blooming and it's bloomed for a good while now. It really likes water. And ever since I've had it, it, the pseudobulbs have been a little wrinkly. Um, so I try to keep it as moist as possible. Today is watering day after this video. Um, with this Cattleya right here, I am still looking forward to seeing a sheath with buds in it as soon as this growth fully matures. Down below are Oringus. Lutea alba var rhodosticta is still in spike, and I've noticed that the spike has started to plump up in the places where the buds are, or they will be anyway. So that's good, and it's producing a new leaf, and there's several new root tips in there too. So I'm glad that that is happy. Right here, I've noticed some new grow, I mean, some spikes on this uh, Dendromium microchip. And it's going to be a little difficult to see because of the lighting. There is one right there in between that leaf. And if I can easily find the other ones, there is a green tip coming out of that sheath there too so I'm pretty sure that's a spike and I believe there's another one somewhere but I'm not going to hold you up and sit here and really look for them 
Uh, there might be one in that, this leaf too. But we will just have to wait and see. Down below here, I see that this has finally opened up. It's one of its blossoms anyway. And this is Oncidium uh, Black Star. A pretty little flower. Now, I do wish I could have this for good, but um, I'm going to have to see if I can find another division of it. Because the new growth never fully finished maturing. I think something went wrong in the inside of the growth. And it flowered, I guess, just to for a last ditch effort to make seeds and live. But that's what happens. Oh, give me just a second. I think on the project plant I uh, for the Orcaholics Anonymous there is the tag for it if it will focus sorry guys there we go if it will focus um anyway so I do believe I have seen just a few very slight little green um dot sticking out of this brown sheet in here and i don't know if you can see it but i i saw one down here too i'm hoping to find some spikes coming on that soon and this finally started producing growth this is my no id it's actually not a dendrochylum it's something else because the older gentleman that is at my society actually used to go and get plants from the wild um, so I really am not sure what it is he says it's not a dendrochylum so it's just a no ID and has all this new growth so hopefully as they mature we will find some blooms I do look for this Angrecum didirii to bloom this winter. I have seen some new growths coming on it. Plenty of beautiful new root tips as well. So hopefully we'll be able to experience those lovely blooms. I think we have the last bloom of the season on this Encyclia cochleata. Prostechia. We have spikes coming on our no ID little white Phalaenopsis. And then actually on this Phalaenopsis right here that I got a long time ago and with its brother, the brother passed away and we still have this one right here. So it does have a spike and I'm happy that it does because I haven't seen this in a long time. Um, but I am happy for it because it has that beautiful spike right there emerging. And I'm not sure what's on the other side. I just noticed that today. There's something else sticking out and that's definitely not a root. So we will have to wait and see what it ends up being. My Phalaenopsis Bellina has its two spikes still. Uh, I did repot it. That's good. I'm happy with it because the spikes did not blast yet anyway. And it has a new leaf coming out of the center. So that's wonderful. Below here, if we look at my Phalaenopsis Shirliana, it has this beautiful new leaf emerging and we do have a spike on this like I've said before and let me set this down hopefully without shaking too much and so I can hold it along with filming okay so there it is there's the spike and hopefully it will end up um, cascading and be pendulous which I think it will it's starting to come down now 
So I'm very happy with that. And side it. My Dracula is still doing very well. Mm. And I think there is another spike still on it. It has tons of new growth. So we haven't killed it yet. That's a good thing. That's my Cochleanthes. Its bud is maturing. At my Orchid Society, um, one of the people gave me a Dracula, mon like a monkey face Dracula, to try out. And this is one of the cool growers, but I am thinking it's not going to make it because this new growth here is turning yellow. So we will just have to wait and see. It's a last ditch effort. I'm going to try to keep it as humid and moist as possible. The BLC Solar Flare Paradise is still blooming from when I got it at the show. And my beautiful butterwort penguiculus are blooming again. And I am going to have to uh, transplant them to a bigger bonsai pot because they have really grown and I'm really happy for them. I noticed as well on my Leptodes bicolor, the new growths have sheaths on them. So I'm happy about that. There's one. And hopefully we'll get some buds on it this year. An update on my Oncidium Twinkle it is branching out quite a lot. So I'm very happy with that. We should be able to see that in bloom in probably a couple weeks to a month. Yeah. On my bluish cat layer, you can see the bud starting to mature. Hopefully the other new growths that are maturing now will have some buds on them too. So I'm looking forward to seeing that too because that'll be my first time seeing that. Uh, my Karen Armstrong, it has a new spike coming on the other side. As soon as it finished blooming there, it decided that it wanted to throw out another spike, which I am perfectly fine with. And then the last thing, I believe, is my Fred Clarkia After Dark SVO Black Pearl. It has beautiful, I can bring it up here has beautiful two spikes on it so I'm really happy with that and I'm happy to see them hopefully fully mature and we can experience these blooms together well that's all I have for you today I hope you enjoyed this video and I just want to quickly say thank you for all the new subscribers lately there's been a lot lately so I really do appreciate all the people that take the time out of their day and to watch my videos but like i said i hope you enjoyed this and i'll talk to you next time bye